Maybe I'm going crazy Can't catch a break lately And I just wonder what you gotta do What you gotta do to get a little baby You look amazing I said it romantic And I just wonder what you gotta do What you gotta do to get a little boy Get a little All right, you guys, I am back in Arizona. It's been the longest few weeks in all good ways. I was up in Montana helping my mom with those Airbnb apartment makeovers. If you guys have not seen those videos, you have to check them out. I'll link them up here and down below. We had like 10 days to do three different places and it was just a whirlwind. When we got back, the boys went right into spring break. We went camping. We just had so much family time. So that was such a blessing and super fun. Our house, is feeling it. I not only want to deep clean because I feel like we are in spring, but we're so close to getting out of spring almost. Here in Arizona, the boys get out of school like the middle of May. And so we only have a couple of months until we are in full blown summer. So I wanna get some spring cleaning done. Before I can do that, we need to actually clean the house, like just tidy things up. So I think I'm gonna rush through and just try to like as quickly as possible, tidy each room, and then we'll actually get things together and start deep cleaning and spring cleaning. Thankfully, I don't have to do the baseboards because if you guys remember a few weeks ago, we had our house actually professionally clean for the first time ever and it was incredible. And one of the things that I had them do was work on baseboards because I hate that task. And so taking that off of my spring cleaning to-do list was such a huge thing this year. I might wanna try to do that every year now because that's incredible. But anyway, let's go ahead, kind of tidy everything up and I'll share some of my favorite deep cleaning products. And I actually got a little cleaning caddy that I think is gonna make just going around the house a lot nicer so I'll share that with you guys too but uh, let's do this So while I was just kind of cleaning up the living room area, you can see the ladder is out and Kyle's hopping up and down off of the ladder. The reason that he's up there is he's actually putting back the top, I don't know, wood piece, I guess. I don't know what it's called, but he's putting that piece back up because if you remember several weeks ago, he was working on the lights and then we just ended up getting so busy and so that kind of got put on the back burner to put it up so we finally got that back installed and then on the other side one of the lights went out and so he installed some of the new lights i don't know why they opted for these kind of lights whenever they installed these built-ins but they did not do just like a regular light bulb or anything it's just like these really specific specialty lights that have to be like rewired and everything it's a whole thing so the last ones i believe lasted about nine Nine years according to the date that we found on them so hopefully these ones will last another almost decade and we won't have to do this for a long time We are done. <laughs> no, actually, not quite. It is, you know, generally tidied. So now we're gonna actually start with the deep spring cleaning, but I wanted to show you guys my little caddy that I got. I have wanted to get a really good one. I used to have like the little Grove Collaborative ones, but as cute as they were, they just weren't so functional because they're fairly small. And if you're doing deep cleaning, you just need something a little bit more intense. So I got this one actually a little while ago on Amazon. I'll link it down below, but they have a ton of them. One of the things that I liked about this one 
is that it has multiple compartments. You can collapse them in or you can pull them out really easily. It also has multiple pockets on the outside and then it also has some different ways to carry it. So it has like this big strap, which I'm sure is the main way I'll carry it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fill this up and explain what items I think I'm going to be needing for the projects we're gonna be working on today. Today, I'm just kind of going with it. Like anything I see that needs cleaned, I'll clean it. I have kind of a list in my mind, but mostly I'm just gonna be kind of winging it. I know some things that I definitely will need. My steam cleaner. I have had this thing before they even got popular. Like I feel like I got it maybe back in 2019 or something. It has a bunch of different attachments. You can pull this head off, make it really small. You can get whatever ones. These are little brushes. So I'm going to put all the little brushes in here and put this guy, I guess, in the big compartment. I usually don't use paper towels for things like this. But when we're dealing with so much dust and dirt and all that stuff, sometimes I just feel like they're necessary. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these and use it when we need. I also have my wood cleaner. This is my favorite wood cleaner. I've been using this stuff for years. It has like the prettiest almond scent. So I'm gonna put that in there for any kind of wood dusting. This is just a regular general all-purpose cleaner. It's actually all-purpose concentrate. So it's like the most affordable way to get an all-purpose cleaner because you can buy a big bottle for maybe like $10 and then you add like a tablespoon or so into a 16 ounce jar. You keep reusing the jar. You just add water it's amazing so i'm gonna add that in there trash bag of course this guy right here is a scrub daddy wet duster this is like really hard right now but when you soak it in water for a second it just literally wet dusts everything and then you rinse it off like it doesn't suck any of that dirt or debris into the sponge itself so you can reuse it over and over and over again perfect in an application like this this little guy right here i believe this is by the brand OXO and this is perfect for like when you're getting into those little crevices perfect for that it has a brush on one side kind of like a little pick rubber pick on the other side magic eraser of course and then my e-cloths so I have a few different ones here this is the general purpose e-cloth this is more of like a terry microfiber cloth but not the microfiber that bugs your fingers i can't stand those kind this is like my everything cleaner cloth you just need water but you can clean windows you can dust you can do all kinds of stuff and then this is the glass and polishing cloth so anytime you're dealing with windows or mirrors stuff like that that's what you dry it off with and you will have streak free glass this is the window genie also from eCloth. I will link everything down below. This is awesome, especially when you're doing a lot of windows and things like that for drying because it has a thicker material, but it's kind of made up of the same cloth material. And so it will, again, give you those streak-free streak -free shines, except you're not gonna like saturate your cloth when you're doing a lot of it. So these are the cloths that I'm using. I, of course, can come refill and grab more if I need, but I think this is going to get me most of the way through. So let's start cleaning. Let me know how often do you clean like your glass doors, sliding doors, front door, back door, whatever areas have glass in your home like that. How often do you clean them? Back when we lived in South Dakota and some of the time in Utah even, I had such a good cleaning routine and I would clean our glass doors and lower windows and everything very regularly. And I don't know what it has been about this house, but I just have not kept up on it. It's definitely, I think, been kind of a roller coaster ever since moving into this house for different reasons. But cleaning these areas is definitely one of those things that really doesn't take a whole lot of time but it really makes a huge difference. It is a little bit annoying to have to go clean them because I feel like, you know, today they look beautiful. Tomorrow they'll start getting prints on them. They'll start getting dog noses and all that kind of stuff. But really, if I can get this back into my weekly cleaning routine, I think it'll make such a huge difference. Clemen 
your eyes gets me every time It shines so bright it leaves me blind I could lose myself inside your mind But I don't really mind it Think I gotta wash on ya Whenever you smile at me, I lose feeling All in my hands and feet So distracted, I can't keep track of time Think I gotta rush on ya Yes, I gotta rush on ya The glimmer in your eyes gets me every time Now our house is about, let me do the math for a second, I think it's like almost 20 years old or maybe just over 20 years old now, but it's getting very close to that 20 year old mark. And so, you know, nothing is really new in our house anymore. And I feel like we're definitely seeing that, especially when I go to deep clean areas like this, like the tracks on the back doors, the windows, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I can only get these things to like a certain level. I mean, they're definitely going to be clean when I'm done but they just will not look shiny and brand new or anything. Now my steam cleaner is definitely the reason that I'm able to get it as clean as I could, but you'll see in a little bit, I don't think my steam cleaner was working as good as it should have been, and then it just totally gave out. So I have no idea what's wrong with it. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot it a little bit later, but you'll see later on, it's basically it just stops working. But at this point, it was still kind of trucking along and it helped me immensely. If you do not have a steam cleaner in your cleaning arsenal, I would absolutely recommend looking into getting one. They have different brands. I know the Bissell, definitely the one that I would recommend. I think it's around $30 to $40 usually, but this is such a versatile tool. You can clean toilets, you can clean floors, you can clean glass, you can clean, you know, tracks and windows and just so, so many things with this. It's definitely one of my favorite deep cleaning tools that is absolutely worth its weight in gold. Love it, how you love me electric, I could do The best way to clean your trash can is just a steam shot or some kind of steam cleaner. And then when you're done, don't forget to add in some essential oil. This is just my favorite brand. It's affordable, it's good quality. I love the scent peppermint, but you can drop that in and it'll help it smell fresh for longer. Okay, it's kind of funny timing because I was just like, I've had my steamer for so many years and I feel like it's just not working great today. <laughs> and I'm wondering if it's just giving out. So I'm actually gonna probably pick a different one up because it's just a tool that's so useful. I know I've gotten so much past my money's worth out of this one. So I'm gonna pause on the trash can because this is just a struggle without the steamer working perfectly or even really great. And then we're gonna continue on with other stuff and then we'll jump back into that and the other things that I need to steam clean. Stop, when we gonna talk about it 
Okay, moving along, we are going to start cleaning the windows. And to do that, I am using this little tool right here. It is very hard right now. It is like rock solid. This is a scrub daddy damp duster. All you have to do to start using it is just rinse it underwater. Or if it's been a while since you've used it, like it has been for me, it might be rock solid like this. And the best way that I've found to quickly make it soft and usable again is to go ahead and just soak it in like a glass full of water or a bowl full of water and it will be just like new. Now this is a really nice tool because it's not going to allow all the dust and debris to actually go inside of it. So you can just continue using it over and over and over again. It's perfect for deep cleaning, but all I do is just kind of firmly wipe down the shades. And then once I get the big bits of dust off, I just go back through with a regular general purpose e-cloth and just wipe everything down a little bit more. And that seems to get the best clean on these. Now these are wooden shutters and I have kind of like a love hate relationship with these i love them because one i do think they're very easy to clean they're very sturdy however when you have them pushed up against the window even when the slats are actually open they still kind of block a lot of natural light and i am a person who loves natural light pouring into our house we actually want to add more windows into this house eventually when the budget permits of course so i don't really love that they block a lot of light but i do think they look really nice so i don't know i have kind of mixed feelings on them but when it comes time to clean them i am thankful for these because i feel like they are a lot easier to clean than like the regular blinds or wooden blinds like we used to have in our utah home Stay by my side and I promise. I got a different steam shot, a new one. So this pretty much comes with the same exact attachments that I already have. So I'm honestly just gonna leave these ones in the package and we'll store those away for, you know, when these ones get too old and yucky. But the nice thing is this one has an extendable reach hose. I don't fully know if I would use that, but maybe, maybe it's one of those things you don't use until you have. All right, let me show you what my old steam shot was doing. It's like kind of hot, but I can hold it there and it's so light. This is what it usually does and this is what it should be doing. I think my old machine was done. Oh my gosh, this was night and day how well this new machine worked. I've definitely used my other one until it just did not work anymore. So using this was definitely a treat. It just reminded me how it was, you know, like when I first got my old one. But as gross as this is to clean your trash can, this was actually the cleanest it's been because I finally figured out how to actually take off the lid part completely. And I was able to get into all those nooks and crannies. I do love this trash can. I think it's such a good quality one. I believe it's Simple Human is the brand. I don't know. We ordered it from Costco online and we've just loved it, but I will say there's a lot of nooks and crannies in this one. And so getting it fully clean is quite a process as you can see. But as far as like the day-to-day -day use, I cannot recommend a better trash can. Next, I wanted to actually wipe down the windows so I'm not having a little coffee break or a mud water break in our case because we don't drink coffee, but we do drink mud water every day. But anyway, that's 
kind of aside from the point. So one of my favorite ways to mop when I'm using a traditional mop and bucket and also one of my favorite ways to mop our walls is to actually use boiling water and the easiest way to do that is just our electric kettle. So I'm just filling up our electric kettle over and over, boiling the water, pouring it into my mop and then I will just add in a few drops of essential oil that's mostly for the scent just to add that really, you know, good smelling peppermint scent in there. And then I also will add in just about a teaspoon or tablespoon, I don't know exactly how much, but just a little capful of the general purpose concentrate. And that's really nice because it doesn't make it really sudsy. So you're not adding a lot of product to your wall, but it does have really good cleaning power when you do encounter any messes on your wall. And I feel like cleaning your walls is something that you often can overlook. Like you don't think, oh, my walls don't really get dirty. But if you walk around your house, I guarantee you can find smudges, especially around high traffic areas, doorways and door jams and light switches and all those things where our hands end up touching, especially if you have little kids or, you know, honestly, kids at all, just whatever. If you have a full house, you probably have some dirty walls and it will make a big difference when you just start wiping them down. You can do this with a regular cloth, but if you want to get into those tall areas and just really freshen it, which I don't always do, but I do like to do this a couple times a year, using a flat mop like this will just make such quick work of this. And it almost makes it a little bit fun. We completely renovated this. This bathroom was, I kid you not, I think this is our lime green bathroom. It was just fluorescent in here. It was intense. And so we did a whole makeover on here. I'll link it up here. On this back wall, we actually did a little hand-drawn stencil design. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I shared that I actually got to design my own bloom towels. We did three different designs. It's been such an amazing process to be able to do this. They sold out in eight hours and I've been getting so many messages and comments from you guys asking when we're going to be restocking, if we're going to be restocking and we are. I don't know exactly when they're going to be getting in because they need to make a lot more. I will let you guys know when they do. But this is one of the designs. This has like a pretty cactus on the front. And then on this side, it has a really cool design. And this design was actually mimicked after this little hand-drawn stencil or hand-painted stencil in here. So I thought that was just kind of fun, but you can use these really anywhere. So I was like, I should hang this in the bathroom. How cute is that? So we're gonna <laughs> swap that out. I might actually just use the little hook that it comes with. That is so cute. And then it's like, it has the design right there. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead, move the Nerf gun out of the bathroom and then get it cleaning. this bathroom so much. It's one of my favorite bathrooms, just like the way we styled it and did the makeover on it. And I've kind of been wanting to redo our powder room bathroom downstairs a little bit. 
I don't know exactly what I would do, but I just want to kind of change the style of it a little bit because I feel like my style has changed so much in the last few years. But anyway, once I got, you know, the main part of the bathroom cleaned, I went ahead and just started using my steam cleaner on the toilet. And if you have not ever steam cleaned your toilet, it works so, so well. It's really disgusting to see all that comes off of your toilet, even after you've somewhat cleaned it but it is just really nice to know that you've actually got it like not only cleaned, but really disinfected with all that steam. So this also will work really well on your tile floors as well as your grout lines and everything. So really, again, get a steam cleaner if you can. It just is so worth it. This is the loft area. We did a makeover over here too. We've done a makeover like pretty much everywhere, but the couch that we got was from Facebook Marketplace and I've been needing to restuff it forever. So I've had this polyfill sitting <laughs> in the closet just waiting. So today is the day I'm gonna restuff it. I'm also gonna carpet clean it a little bit. And then I think we'll go ahead and call it a day. Your heart's not with them Tearing up the thought of all the pieces missing Originally, I was actually just going to go ahead and carpet clean the whole couch, which a lot of times I do just because I feel like it's almost less hassle than pulling off all of the cushions and trying to stuff them back in later on. But it also is a lot more time consuming in like active work that you have to do. And after I saw what condition the cushions were in, I was just like, all right, these need to run through the wash. Now there is one cushion that's actually sewn on because I think the zipper must have broke. So I can't take that one off. I'll have to carpet clean that one. But everything else, I just went ahead and stripped the cushion covers off and I'll throw those in the laundry in just a minute. But I wanted to go ahead and start stuffing the couch and just a warning, you will definitely see they end up looking a little bit lumpy, but I have stuffed our couches forever. Like I've done this to several couches in the past and it always kind of has a little bit of a lumpy look right away until you actually sit in the couch and kind of smash it down and it will end up looking perfect once it gets kind of worn in again, which should not take long at all. But one little trick that I do, if your couch is not just full of polyfill, but if it actually has cushions in there which ours does they're actually solid cushions inside i will unzip the cushion and then take the polyfill and shove it behind the cushion if that makes sense i don't even know if that's making sense but basically so that the cushion is all in the front and the polyfill is in the back so that is what i do to help kind of get rid of those lumps and kind of make those as minimal as possible but like I said in the end it doesn't matter because it'll all get pushed down and even out and look perfect So to wash the cushion covers, I'm just using some regular detergent, but this is actually something that a company had sent to me a while ago and I just haven't gotten around to trying it, but they're really nice because they're actually just detergent sheets. And so they have very, very minimal waste and you can actually recycle the box that they come in and everything. But my mom uses these, not this exact brand, but she uses these. And so I got to use them when I was in Montana and it just reminded me that I had them whenever we got back into town. So if you want to try these out, I'll link them down below, but I know there's different brands and then this specific one comes in different scents. So lots of different options.
Okay, this is so cool. It's so nice. It's like one of those little random features, but when you're done carpet cleaning with this little machine, you can actually take this little cover right here and then turn on the cleaner and it will actually clean out the hose itself so you don't have to bother cleaning any of that. Anything like that that just makes the cleaning products work better or makes me not have to clean my cleaning products, always a win. And I love that they added this feature to the green machine, which I think it's kind of silly. It's still called the green machine, I guess, or maybe it's not exactly, but it basically is, but it's purple. So it's like the little purple green machine. <laughs> Of course you can see it was dark by the time I finished out this day so I just kind of was working on and off throughout the day here and there in between running the kids places and dinner and all the things but I definitely did not have time to dry those cushions so I'm just gonna have them hanging out drying overnight and then I had to wait until the next day to actually get those back on so you'll see that at the end of the video and you can see how good they look once they're all cleaned and once the couch is all dry but because I had that mop out from mopping all the walls I went ahead and just mopped the floor up here I don't love mopping but mopping the floor just looks so good it really takes your home to the next level when you have fully cleaned floors including being mopped so I figured that would be the perfect way to kind of finish out this video but I hope you got so much cleaning motivation from hanging out with me today also I'm going to be writing down some new video ideas this week for the coming month so if you have any video suggestions or video requests let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to add those to my list so anyway thank you you so much for hanging out with me today oh and here is how the couch is looking it looks so so good now that it's all clean and dry and put back together but i hope you guys have an amazing day please share this video if it was really helpful to you don't forget to subscribe if you've not already subscribed to the channel and i will see you in the next one bye guys